I'm running for the office of principal chief of this proud nation that we serve and that we belong to, and whether we come from our ceremonial grounds or our churches, we're all Edova. I think we've gotten away from the teachings of our elders. I think we've gotten away from the family atmosphere as I see it here today. And we need to get back to that. I think it's time that we look at what we're doing as a tribe and learn again what was taught to each of us. And that was to help each other. And not to tear each other down. grandmother, I've always said, will me to walk. Uh, she was a very spiritual lady. I feel like I've come overcome that adversity plus others because of where I came from, who raised me, who believed that you can accomplish anything you want. So I have learned how to walk, yes, but also a more important lesson is I've learned how to walk in two worlds with one spirit. It is going to be a tough road, but I believe that as Indian people, we already know that before us, there's all kinds of roads that our people had to suffer through and we're confronted with, and we're still here. Actually, I've been involved with tribal government since I was 24 years old. And along the way, uh, I learned that if you're going to do anything, whether it's investing your monies in a way you get a good return on it, that you must meet the people that can help you make those decisions. You've been to the hospital, and you've been referred somewhere else, and then all of a sudden you get a bill, and when you ask about it, someone says, we don't have the money. And I'm standing here to tell you today, we do. We need to pursue the best ways to take care of our people and make sure that they're taken care of in a way that we were taught among our families. Welcome to the debut of Native America Calling for Monday, June 5th. We're I've been in the media zero. business for a number of years. I'm George Tiger, your host for Native America Calling. And We're making by being in the media business, there's also a different area or a different uh, group of people that you get to know that can help you get the positive things out about your tribe. You know, it's, it's tough to read about yourself because somebody doesn't understand the role that you play. It's tough for me to hear negative things about my colleagues when I know that they work from their heart to make things better for our people. It is tough. But I know when it's all said and done, when we look to the future in January, and I'm going to be your chief. Madame Marais, thank you. The values that I always remember was that you work real hard for everything that you do. Uh, you're, you always maintain your traditions and cu culture, but more importantly, your language. And come November, I want to invite every one of you to come to my inauguration, and we're going to talk Creek. It's time we had a leader that can talk to you in a way that you're used to. And I believe it's that time again. My diggers are mucking, my roads are getting us. If we as Indian people lose our language, we lose our culture.